Saka, Sterling, Sterling Saka. One man, Arteta. That's right, I'm Ty Knight, this is TK24 Sports. Now, if you're new to the show, make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification so you do not miss the show every time we upload. Now let's go and talk about this one. Saka is turning into Sterling, and that's one reason, one reason only. Yes, right, Mikel Arteta. Now, a lot of Arsenal fans were saying, no, I want him out, I'm Arteta out. Well, guess what? Guess what? He's here to stay, and he's getting the best out of Saka. Would Emery get this sort of result out of Saka? No. Would Arsene Wenger get this result out of Saka? Hell no. Why? Because he was never a coach. He was more of like a guidance teacher. He'll bring you in, he'll talk to you about philosophies of life, and then send you out of your way to find your way in life. Well, guess what? Arteta's different. Arteta's a different animal. And that's starting to show because Saka is starting to show up and show out week after week after week, and he's only 19. You saw what Arteta done with Sterling. That wasn't Pep. That was Arteta. Bit of Pep as well, but the guidance of Arteta. Playing on the half turn. Look at Saka's movement. He can run in behind you. He can play on left, on right, and left back. What are we saying what his worth is now? You can't put a price on it, can you? Well, you can try and put a price on it, but you can't because you cannot replace him. That's the point I'm making. You cannot replace this 19-year-old kid already. And he's 19, I'm saying it again, 19. What's it going to be like when he's 21, 25? My goodness, if this guy stays injury-free. <laughs> he's going to wreak havoc. When you look at the England squad, you're thinking, who do you take out to replace him? Take out anyone. You just need to have him in your team. That's how important he has now become. He's starting to talk more. He's starting to, oh, say it with his chest a bit more. But when you look at his performance, look at Sterling's performance. I'm not saying he's Sterling-esque yet. But I will say this. He will be all world talent in two seasons. He's world talent now. But he will be all world talent in two seasons. He'll be England's talisman in two seasons. He's Arsenal's talisman already now. And they may be saying, oh, time, that's not a high ceiling to limit. No, to get to when you're playing for Arsenal. Well, I'm telling you one thing right now. Arteta is turning Arsenal into City in many ways. Look at the players for players profile. Gabriel Jesus. Okay. Look at Lacazette. Company. Look at Gabriel. Tierney, look at Carl Walker. Fernandinho, look at Partey. De Bruyne, look at Smith Rowe. Do I have to keep on going and going and now they've got Odegaard in for six months? Trust me, that's going to be much longer after that. Then I've got their David Silva now. Trust me, Od Odegaard is world talent. He's not all well, but he's world talent. My point is this. He is building something. And if we sacked him... We wouldn't get to see what we're seeing now. And that's the part where Arsenal fans need to jump down and start to realise someone is building something. And it's starting with number seven, Saka. It's starting with him. Then you've got Martinelli. Then you've got Aubameyang. I'm not going to mention Saka. But then you've got Saliba, who's abroad again on loan. And he's going to come back. You've got Leno in goal. Sort out the right back. We've got Cedric there. You've got Bellerin. Maitland Nance is going to be gone. Joe Willick is going to be gone. Rob Holden is standing up now. Pretty much like the John Stones revival. Look at the similarities, Arsenal fans. Look at the similarity of what's happening. It's going to start with Saka. And it's going to get built around him. That's what we're going to do now with this team. You build it around this man. This man is going to carry you to the promised land. And you say, what's that promised land? Back into Europe. Back into contention of fighting for the league. Our tired of squads are big. It's not good enough. He is getting rid of those players. Trust me, the squad is going to be good enough and better than before. I predicted it before. I said what was going to happen in this summer, well, this January window. I was right. I couldn't tell you what I knew, but I was right. Trust me with this. Saka is going to be like Sterling, but a 2.0 version. And it's all because of the man you guys wanted to get gone and said he was out of his depth. Is he out of his depth now? Was it 16 points out of 18? I said they need to get 15, and they got 13 out of the 15. I knew what was happening. I knew what was coming. But you non-believers, 
didn't. And you still try to find an excuse every time they win. You're still trying to find a fault. Well, we got lucky there, you know, we can't, you know, it wasn't really a good team that we beat, go and beat Southampton 3-1. Oh, yeah, but then he should have played the experienced players, you know, three days before, and we could have defended the FA Cup. Damn the FA Cup. It's great to have, it's great to win, but you need to be more than a cup team. You need to do it more than six games. You've got to do it over 38 games. When will you guys realise that? Realise 38 is better than six. Getting back into the Champions League and then competing for the league is better than winning the FA Cup. 14 times it's been won. You can put it down for one season and go and stake your claim back at the top of the table. Arsenal don't sit at the top table no more. But they're trying to get back to the top table. And this is what it's all about. And it comes down to one man, and one man only, Saka number seven. I'm Ty Knight. This is TK24 Sports. We'll see you really, really soon. And if you haven't subscribed, and turn on your notifications and shared it, make sure you do it now. Thanks a lot.